Welcome to my heck it nuclear power plant. We have a computer over here in this corner hooked up to control four nuclear reactors that you see here. Out that door. Along with status indicator lights. Any reactor that's gone bad, change its light to red, and the master light to red. As well as set off an alarm. And going up to the fourth floor here. Where we keep our exit to the rest of the world. And our way into the top of the power plant. As you can see here, we are using pneumatic pipes from Red Power 2, bundled cabling from Red Power 2, a knock gate at each of the entrances to the nuke, and this is what each nuke looks like. Surrounded in ice is a 7x4 set of uranium cells, which is all encased first in ice, and then around the ice we have reinforced stone. Now, these pneumatic tubes here come from our ice factory, which stores a lot of ice. How do we make such ice? Well, we start with snowmen standing on block breakers, which are run on a timer wirelessly. which creates snowballs and pumps them down into a compressor which we have hooked up to two transformer upgrades and a <laughs> eight overclocker upgrades a transposer hooked onto the back of each one of them is supplied by a redstone pneumatic tube which transports a timered signal as well as the ice out of the machines into the chests down here where they are stored until they are required over in the reactors. Compressors are powered by the reactors, as a matter of fact, the reactors have a four-time uh, triple insulated high-voltage cable coming out of the bottom and going down into a high voltage transformer which converts it into high voltage. Four glass fiber cables put it, take it into an MFSU uh, which is then of which there is one at each of the four reactors. The reactors are hooked up in pairs to a second MFSU, which is a primary storage device. There are two of these. One, this one over here, 
runs up along this wall with a glass fiber back to power those compressors. The other goes up and out to power everything on the outside. Now, to turn them off, because they are very, very quick to overheat if we don't keep pumping ice into them. In here, oh, where is it? There we go. In here, into the side, are wireless receivers, which we use along with the computer program that I've written for this that basically just switches off a piece of a bundle cable every five minutes unless there's a shutoff warning Whoa. Miss him. Oh, let's see. Matter of fact, that would be this one here. When, as long as this is powered here, this cable, the reactors, all four, will be shut off. They turn on and off in pairs. This cable here also goes down. Black input for one, red for the other. Then a bunch of unused ones. Uh, going down further. Hmm. Oh, yeah. into the computer here. There's one I call Nuke. Right up in. Which sort of looks like this. normally keep it running on the top monitor here. Shows its status. Right now all four are off. Over here is a master shutdown and the door lock here. All of this is protected at the entrance. First by World Guard using a region. Second by a reinforced stone door. Password protected. Alarm goes off whenever it's opened, apparently. Hmm. 
Oh, that's new. and way deep in the middle of the ocean. As a matter of fact, this happens to be the top of where the snowmen are. And that is a very safe nuclear power plant. The only thing that gets destroyed would be the nukes themselves. And as you can see, we're going way down if you look at the map. went all the way from 64 or sea level down to level 21 and that's just the top of them oh yeah one more place to show you the underside of this floor here. Mainly wiring, but mostly protected wiring. As you can see, the glass fiber coming from the high voltage goes into this MFSU, which is then used to charge this one over here. This one happens to be the one that Apparently goes nowhere right now. Well, this is supposed to be the one that goes outside. That other one is supposed to solely go over to the compressors. That's why I've been having trouble with it recently. Uh, let's see here. There's glass fiber. Whoops. And this appears to be a combustion sensor. That is an alarm. That is a glitch. That's the control bus there. Which goes to this little room. This happens to be the control room floor. It's not prettified yet but it will get there eventually. Hmm. I hope you've enjoyed this little tour. And I'll work on making a better version of it later. When I have more time to think about it. Thank you.